Hello everyone! So, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the secrets that I can share with regards to my editing. So, the editor that I use, the equipment, the fonts, where I choose my music or where I get my music, and how I create my intro or what are the tools that I use within the equipment or the editor that I use. Before we formally start, I want to share with you that my inspo in editing my videos had always been Best Dress Ashley and Jessica Wu. So they are like the editor goddesses of the YouTube. <laughs> wow! When I say inspirations, I get ideas and then I incorporate my style into those editings. And that's how I created my editing. Incorporate. <laughs> but anyway, so since this will be a long ass video, let's start. Let us start with the equipment and editor that I use. For the equipment, I use this MacBook Pro 2017 without touch bar. And I don't know the changes or difference when it comes to touch bar. But I felt like it's just a luxury. So, I bought this MacBook Pro without touch bar because it's much more cheaper. And I just need something that I can work with. Now, this has 256 gig, And I know that's a little bit low when it comes to an editor or when you edit a video. So, I only do vlogs. Kaya Whenever I import a new vlog, I delete the old ones and transfer it to my external drive. So I have an external drive where I keep my old videos for backup. Now, I am not a tech smart ass, but you guys can correct me. I think when it comes to editing videos, if you're going to choose a laptop, it have to have at least uh, 4 gig RAM and Intel Core i3. But this one, I think this is Intel Core i5. When it comes to my editor, I use the Final Cut Pro 10. So that is also the reason why I chose to invest in an Apple product because Final Cut Pro is exclusively for Apple products. That's why I invested in this one. Because if you're going to use Windows products, naman, you can choose from Win Wondershare Filmora which I used for two years on my first years, first two years of YouTube and Adobe Premiere Pro which is really expensive naman. It has the same amount of tools as Final Cut Pro pero mas mahirap siyang gamitin, mas pang pro, ganun pang professional na siya. Okay, so now that you know the editor that I use and the equipment that I use, let's now move to the editing itself. So now that you're editing, of course, you have your videos and I'm going to teach you guys how to import those videos. So first is, of course, open the Final Cut Pro app and you can see here my previous edited vlog. So I don't know how to close that. I just click Command N and it will ask you for a project name for that video. I just put here whatever I want. So and I just click OK and there you go. It's a clean slate. Once you have imported the videos, you, um, some people they import all the videos into the to the working station itself or yung working area. So for me, I import it one by one para one by one and then I rough cut the first video, I rough cut the second video. And now the rough cut, this is the most boring part of the video or editing. Because you're just going to listen to yourself talking without the background music. So it's just so plain and so boring. This is really boring pero this is where you take out all those dead airs. Because sometimes when I film my videos, um, I tend to talk my way palayo dun sa mismong topic natin. So, this is where you also take out those parts na hindi ganun ka-importante. And also, when you want to make your video shorter. Now, let's move to editing the intro. So, I know a lot of you want to learn a lot from it. And there are a lot of dis discussions that I have to do. Pero, I'm just gonna show you how to move objects within the videos kasi yung intro ko, it's just a combination of moving objects and moving texts. I have two intros, two types of intros. Mostly, ang ginagamit ko ay yung parang gaming startup which is inspired by Jessica Wu, the Botomi series in her makeup tutorials. So, I was inspired by that type of intro and then nag-isip na lang ako kung paano ko i-incorporate naman yung style ko in that intro. Now, the other intro or concept intro, conceptualized intro that I do is the desktop type and then there's going to be an email or a notification and you're just going to click it and it will play the video. So how we create or how we move objects within the video is this. First, I'm going to need a base. Final Cut Pro already have a lot of backgrounds that you can choose from. For this tutorial, I'll use the pastel background. Now I'll zoom in the work area to have a better look into the seconds of the video. Next, we'll now add the texts, which will comprise of the title and choices. 
I'll use basic title and drag it on top of the background and edit the text by double clicking on the text itself. Now we'll choose what fonts are we going to use and for today I chose the PT Banana Split which is a totally spice inspired font. I will also add an outline to make sure that text appear more clear and you can definitely choose whatever color you want. You can also play around as to how thick the outline would be. And next, I'll just adjust the text size as to how I want it to be. Then, position it. After that, we will now add the texts that will look like the user's choices. I'll just do the same process but in this text, I'll choose a different font and color. You can choose the concept of what text you will include in the video and here, I chose makeup tutorial, skincare, and exit as if the viewer has choice. What I do is finalize the characteristic of the first choice and duplicate the texts and then change the text input and place it on top of the first one. After finalizing the text, you now have to decide the timing as to when it will appear in the video. Now we're going to use the transform tool. You can find it at the lower left corner of the viewer. I call this the locking. You gotta click the keyframe button at the upper left of the viewer. This locks the chosen object or text in place in that certain time. You can also use it to lock the size of the text you want at a certain time. Once you have moved into a different time frame, you can just adjust the place and the size of the text. And then it will look like this. Now, I'll just add a cursor to make it look like it makes choices. I'll resize the cursor into how I want it to be. Extend it up to the last minute of the intro and cut out the excess texts. I'll use the same transform tool once again and except this time, I'm going to use it to plot places for the cursor to move around to. It's the same process of locking the place of the cursor and then moving it to a certain place at that certain time. The lines that you can see now are where the cursor will hover. Once done, this is how it will look like. Now let's move to fonts. The fonts that I use, I download it from the font.com as in D-A-F-O-N-T.com. So I knew that one through searching lang din. And there are a lot of fonts that you can choose from from the font.com. You can search it all based on the style, handwriting, calligraphy, old school, and such. So ayun, there are a lot of fonts that you can choose from. And then another site that you can choose from if you didn't find it from the font.com na as if hindi mo pa mahanap doon yung gusto mo is 1001fonts.com So I knew this one from a friend, from Meryl. And from this one naman, medyo mahirap siya pero parang ganun lang din based sa style ng font na gusto mong mahanap. Pero para sa akin, mas user-friendly yung site ng the font. So, but anyway, you can choose from either of those two. Now, if you don't want to sweat yourself and know already what fonts do I use, first is mostly PT Banana Split which is the Totally Spice font. And the next one is the Zelda DXTT. So, so this is how it looks like. Zelda DXTT. And then next is Grayscale Signature. So Grayscale Signature looks like this. But I just mix them up to make it look nice to the eye. So minsan, when it comes to products, I use the Grayscale. And the description of the products, I use yung Zelda DXT. Now, let's move to choosing the music. Okay, so I found this site, the hellodematic.com. That is where I find my music backgrounds. So, sometimes I choose from covers from other YouTubers and then I just credit them at the description box. Pero, if you want to find some chill aesthetic music for the background or for your intros or for whatever, for the whole vlog itself, you can check out hellodematic.com. I will be linking it down below. There are a lot of artists that posts their songs or their beats in that site and it's all for free so you just have to create an account sign up you can use all the beats and all the musics for free but all you have to do is just credit the artist in the description box so once you have downloaded a certain music and it's really easy to download from their site there's the download button right there and once it's downloaded it um, it leads you to a site where you can copy the link that you will put into your video. So, ayun, ganun lang kadali. That's where I found the song Mona Lisa. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. And then, if you want to go for a really chill, aesthetic, and you know, old school vibrance, you can use White Peony. 
Now, if you want to go for something upbeat and medyo aesthetically pleasing pa rin sa ears, you can choose Vanilla Pepper. <laughs> lot of music naman that you can choose from from Hello Damatic and this is not a sponsored video. I just love the site so much because there are a lot of choices and it's all for free. You just have really credit the artist. Okay, so now you know the music. Let's move to key cards. Key cards is what I normally use when I create makeup tutorials and um, skincare videos or anything that I have to reiterate a certain product or a certain something. So, and that is very crucial because I think it adds visual representations in your videos which makes it less boring and more informative. So, yeah. So, how I create key cards is I just add it as a text through Final Cut Pro the same way that I did intros. So I just add the text. And when I use key card, I also add a sound effects. So the sound effects that I normally use is pop, like this. So it adds reiterations. Mas napapansin siya ng tao. So now let's talk about overlays. And overlays are the objects that I put in my videos to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Like this butterfly right here. And I can move it to here. Anyway, so sometimes I make it move and sometimes it's just as it is. Because there are a lot of overlays that you can find from YouTube. Most of the time, I credit them through my description box, the overlays that I use. Overlays are those green screen videos that you can find through YouTube. You can search it up. Um, green screen overlays, like if you want a butterfly or if you want a flower or if you want stars, you can find it through YouTube. Sometimes what I use is this butterfly nga, that I make it move right here. And sometimes it's just these stars stars right there yes yeah, scattered stars now how do i use them first you have to have your green screen overlays then choose the clip you want to use and as for my case these stars drag it over the video go to effects browser and search for keyer drag the effect into the green screen and it will eliminate the green background and leave only the stars and there you go now we're done and I have discussed with you guys all the elements in the videos or video editing. We are now in our outro. So regarding the outro, you still want to stick with the concept that you built during the intro. So so mostly it's just this black background page that I found from Google then which has a shutting down na salita and then it has this moving object at the side so to make it look like it's loading and then I just plug my Instagram or TikTok at the upper side and also kasi once you have uploaded it in YouTube those 15 seconds of those of that outro of shutting down keme um, you can add or you can plug another video that you have like a past video or a video of someone else or just a subscribe button at the end of the video to make the viewer fall into this YouTube rabbit hole na parang after watching your video might as well watch another one parang ganun. so yeah that's how I do it and Meron pa ba akong hindi na-discuss? Feeling ko wala na. So, that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys learned a lot. And if there are some concepts or some parts or some points that I forgot to include in this video, you can just comment it down below. And I will discuss it to you. Or you can DM me through IG if I can do so. But if it's a really complicated one, then I might as well do another video to make it more understandable. So anyway, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned a lot because you know the purpose of learnings. So yeah, that's it and thank you, thank you so much and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye! <laughs>